Founded in love. The Bible reveals to us that we ought to be rooted and grounded in love. Love is a soil in which we must grow. Love is a foundation on which we must build. Now let's look at the word rooted. The root is the essential core of a plant. Now we know that, don't we? But what about us? As believers, what are we to be rooted in? What are we to be planted in? The Word of God. <laughs> rooted is to become fixed by roots. I want to be rooted in God's Word. Whatever you are fixed to is what you will receive nourishment from. If you're rooted in the world, the world will give you nourishment. If you're rooted in the Word of God, God is going to give you nourishment. Rooted is to be fixed to something good. The Word of God is something good. And the Word of God, you will receive good nourishment. Amen. Fixed on something that's unhealthy, and you're going to receive something that is unhealthy. What do we see in the world today? What do we see in our schools today? You can't pray. You can't have Bible study. But you can bring in a whole lot of other stuff. We need to get back to the basics of our faith. And that's the Word of God. Rooted is to be established so solidly, strongly, is to make change almost impossible. I'm saying I want to grow in the word of the Lord, but my basic foundation will not be changed. I believe in Jesus. I believe in salvation. I believe in healing. Right before church started, my sister bought a pack of cigarettes. And she said, they're killing me. I didn't hesitate. We cast them boogers out. Amen. To the dry places. Amen. Jesus never fooled with demons. He never argued with them. He never pleaded with them. We don't do it as well. We got power and authority Amen. over demons. Yes. Amen. And that's the word of God. Amen. So why should we put up with them? Amen. Get rid of them. Amen. 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 We're to be rooted. I remember down south where I pastor. Beautiful lady, wonderful lady, but she based her doctrine on music. That's not the word. You got to base it on what? Word the Word of God. The Word of God. Grounded. Grounded is the basic of something. What you are grounded in. Is what you are and what you are becoming. We got to be grounded in the Word of God. Amen. 
in the faith of Jews. And what you are becoming is what you'll end up being. Grounded is a conductor. Be a channel for. In other words, whatever's in is what will come out. The Bible says what is in will defy. So I want to put the Word of God, the faith of God, the love of God within me. We need to be planted in good soil. Does that, that make sense? Yes. Yes. Let me ask you a question. There's an oil spill somewhere. Is anybody going to take their corn and plant on the ground that's been soiled with oil? The answer is no. We have to have good soil to nourish the plant that we plant in, in order to produce fruit. And I see the same for us today as believers. We have to be planted in good soil, good soil, that in turn will grow and produce results. Amen. Having one salvation on firm ground. I don't have to look for other religious people, religious. I have all I need in Jesus Christ, Amen. in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. We also need to allow our heart to be pliable, for the Word to come in and produce results. Our hearts need to be plowed for the seeds of the gospel to be planted in one's heart. The believers to be unyielding in their faith, in their belief, which produce something that is unlikely to change. I'm not going to change. I'm grounded in the Word of God. God has brought me so far that I'm not going back now. Amen. 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 Be not moved away from the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Amen. Amen. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. I want this church to be a loving church. Yes. Grounded in the Word of God. Yes. Strong in our faith. Amen. Not easily moved. Amen. And we need each other. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, that's my message this morning. But what I want to do, I want to give each one of y'all a chance to give a testimony. Can I have an amen? Amen. 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 So right now, I believe that's important right now. Someone called up to give a testimony.